Charlie with an eye and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Some Randoms. Another interesting battle that I had on my AMX 5100 that is probably my first video of it on my entire YouTube channel. That's weird because I'm I have already 600 battles on this one. I love this tank, it's probably the best one in the entire game. Uh, that is why they pick it so often in the ESL battles. So I keep it in my garage. I play tournaments, weekly tournaments, go for what, and maybe free versus free from time to time on this huge beast. Because in comparison to 3090, it's kind of a huge box. So we are driving with uh, fully gold loaded. Um, armor piercing composite rigid shells with 263 penetration and 320 average damage no 300 sorry 300 average damage on that SA-47 gun pretty accurate in comparison to T-32 or IS-3 also the tanks picked on ESL Format. So what do we have? ELC, AMX, double, no, IS-3 and IS-8 camping in the corner. And we'll probably have our first shot. There's the one, Indian Panzer 308, 329. Uh, he's got a bad day, 265, so a little bit worse roll than we used to have. E-75 from the front, it's gonna be... We tough to penetrate in, only armor. track shot and a blind one last in the clip so yeah I could risk it already 1200 damage total in this battle I think is 6400 so a lot even on tier 9s we can do pretty much everything if we drive in with the configuration of um, I think that is ventilation do you have vertical stabilizer of course for the uh, gun dispersion mm. and I'm carrying binox because AMX 5100 has only uh, 380 view range that combined with binox we got full spotting potential I also have 70 or 60 camo skill on the fourth perk so it's pretty hard to spot my MX 5100 in um, random battles. Could be easier in uh, Go for Watts because uh, the 3090s or MX 5100s used in tournaments are obviously much better prepared for this one. So, uh, a little bit of camping, gonna fast forward a little bit. Uh, IS3 going forward. Ah, I'm probably streaming this one. No, I wasn't. I was <laughs> listening to the bills, so that is why the retackle is going uh, crazy. Okay, we got the E75 and T30. I decided to focus on T30 because the penetration would be more reliable on this one. Uh, less armor, even from the side E75 can sometimes bounce, but a bad shot, and I decide to do another blind shot that should have gone through uh, I can help you IS3 I'm so sorry but I can't I'm reloading 46 um, 46 and a half seconds I think that is without coffee with coffee is gonna be 44 or 30 mm, I presume I don't remember uh, the reload time uh, so exactly Okay, we got E75 almost dead on the tracks. Uh, yep, yeah, it was an easy shot. So BL9, uh, the IS3 gun can easily penetrate E75 side armor. Okay, now we're gonna focus on T30, only a track shot. 
Uh, so, uh, miserable aiming. Maybe that RNG also didn't help. Object 704, hello my comrade. Now I'm gonna punish you for driving across the field without any cover. So... Oh, and the T95 finishes the job. Yet another blind shot. Uh, already fired three clips with um, 3100 damage done. That we saw. Probably a couple of blind shots connected. So, 8, eight to 9 so far. Um, my team isn't really doing that much. I think that T30 died without dealing any damage. So we had to do a little bit more um, just to secure the win. We got a pretty awesome AMX50 120 on the opposite side. AMX50 100 also good. And two tank destroyers that can uh, really cause us uh, trouble. I mean the Yak Panther 2 with that 490 average and that uh, Yak Tiger 88 uh, with that reload of I don't know, 4 seconds. They are pretty beastly on tier 8 battles. Or tier 9. I say it is still camping. I'm not gonna help you, my friend. Uh, I'm sorry. You have to handle yourself. T95 is out there. Yeah, <laughs> nice shot, T95. So, we're gonna help our Object 704 plus the Tiger. Uh, I don't know if our GV Panther knows what to do. Okay, AMX 5100 never ever drive on the open field. Um, it's a common mistake done by uh, 200 drivers. Maybe if you are a 3090 player then you could do something like this, but always try to use the bushes, try to use the cover, uh, driving across the open field when you're spotted, you're pretty much 90% uh, of the cases dead and gone. Okay, so we're gonna fast forward a little bit. We're uh, waiting for something to happen, something to uh, be spotted while we're reloading. That uh, takes a lot of time. As you can see, I got radio mode uh, under Z. When I press the reload, uh, it says how much do I have left. Okay, only 5120 Lorraine and uh, ARL V39 left already got 4000 damage a little bit again fast forwarding 5100 was last spotted here but now he's in base and our IS-8 is in huge trouble yep uh, he's dead so nice job of that 5120 already 4 frags and I presume he's got uh, also a cute amount of damage on his account. But now we are here to finish the job. And we'll see what we can do. We'll try to use the push first, but ah, here we spot the RT and we are spotted, so I'm not I'm not gonna go in from the same angle, just go and spot it, try a different route of attack. Because uh, they are probably aiming at your position. Straight away, nice blind shot from artillery. Really great aiming. I don't know how he managed that. Ooh, a nice one. 313. 318. And can we connect another shell? And he's gonna side scrap with AMX 5120. That worked. But the turret is really humongous, you're gonna penetrate it every single time. At least with these shells that I've got. The APCR armor piercing. What do you call it? Armor piercing composite rigid. With 263 penetration and 300 average damage. So we dealt a lot. Um, that Object 704 and T95 are already there to cover us up. 5100 damage so far spotted. Oh, and 5120 finally dies. Uh, probably the most dangerous opponent of the enemy team. 
Except for that uh, AT-15, but I have no idea what did he do. Okay, so the last one will be that tank destroyer that is not really a m much a threat without uh, gun depression and angles on the gun to actually hit us. But he's gonna try. <laughs> nice clutch shot on the move. Only a track one, and here we go. A ram kill. And we got also some friendly fire from GV Panther. That was lucky that we didn't die out there, but. 6100 damage that is, uh, you will see on the screens, really cute daily that I had, it was uh, I presume uh, the penta daily, so times 5, I think I got 12, uh, 12k or something like that, <laughs> I don't know, you'll see. So guys, uh, thanks you, uh, thank you again for watching, hope you like it, mm, hope you enjoyed this one. I'll be uploading more Let's Play Some Randoms. I got a uh, really nice balance from uh, Pershing IS3, so all these ESL tanks that you uh, love to watch on VOD Pro League or the Russian League that already has started. So, see you guys in the next episodes and have a great time. Bye. -bye.